Welcome to the Humidity Control 101 webinar hosted by DrySteam. We are thrilled that you have taken the time to join us today. As experts in the field of humidity control, we are excited to share our knowledge and insights with you. Whether you are a seasoned professional or just starting to explore the world of humidification, we guarantee that you will find valuable information in this webinar. In this session, we will cover three important topics, humidity basics, humidity control benefits, and selecting a humidity control solution. Let's get started with some basic information about humidity. Humidity is defined as the amount of water vapor in the air. When discussing indoor air quality, we mostly pay attention to the relative humidity, or RH which is the actual amount of water vapor in the air as a percentage of the maximum amount of water vapor that the air can hold at a given temperature. Relative humidity can be affected by many things. The air temperature is one of the biggest factors that affect RH. As air temperature increases, the capacity to hold water vapor also increases. For example, Air that is 30 degrees Celsius has a larger capacity to carry water vapor than air that is 10 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity in a building is also affected by climate, forced air heating, mechanical cooling, entering outside air, and many other factors. Maintaining optimal RH can be challenging. However, Relative humidity is an essential aspect of indoor air quality. In this section, we will discuss the importance of controlling relative humidity. The benefits of humidity control fall into three main areas, people, processes, and preservation. Proper indoor RH helps to improve the health and thermal comfort of building occupants. It improves manufacturing processes and it preserves materials and furnishings. The optimal range for human health, wellness, and comfort is 40 to 60% RH. To many people's surprise, indoor environments are usually 20 to 30% RH, which is inadequate for protection against common illnesses. Lower RH increases the survival for viruses such as seasonal flu and COVID-19 that cause respiratory infections. Lower RH also increases allergens that cause seasonal allergies and asthma. It is also important that RH is not too high. RH above 60% increases the likelihood of mold, fungi, and dust mite growth, which can all have a negative effect on human health. The 40 to 60% RH range has been an industry standard since 1986 with the publication of the Sterling study. The blue band in the chart is the optimal range for reductions in the impact of infectivity and survival of viruses. It's important to note that this is also true for bacteria as well as a number of allergens. We see the positive impact of humidity control in terms of human well-being, not only in the terms of viral infection, but also chemical interactions and ozone protection. Humidity control is also important for facility management. Fluctuations in RH can cause a variety of facility issues. In an environment with too low RH, the potential for electrostatic discharge increases, which can damage products, harm building occupants, and in worst case scenarios, ignite. Dust attracted by static electricity may cause problems with manufacturing processes, circuitry, testing, and packaging. RH higher than 70% can be corrosive to electronic and metallic components. In some environments, exceeding 60% RH can increase mold, mildew, and fungus growth, which can deteriorate facility integrity. Now that you know about the importance of humidity control, we will discuss the various humidity control solutions on the market today. When you need to increase the RH, you can choose between two different humidifier technologies. The first and most common is isothermal humidification. 
isothermal humidifiers boil water to create steam. The water vapor from the steam is then dispersed into the air. When steam is absorbed into the air, it has a minimal effect on air temperature. Isothermal humidification can achieve tight RH control, especially when indoor air temperatures are tightly controlled. The second way to humidify is adiabatic humidification, which adds microscopic water droplets into the air. As water droplets evaporate into the air, they reduce the surrounding air temperatures, providing free cooling while humidifying. Adiabatic humidification can be achieved with two different methods. The first is atomizing nozzles that spray water directly into the air. The second method uses ultrasonic technology, which uses vibration to generate and propel microscopic water droplets into the air. When you need to decrease the RH, you can choose between two dehumidifier technologies, desiccant and mechanical. Desiccant dehumidification absorbs moisture from the air by using a wheel embedded with a substance that absorbs water and promotes drying. Mechanical dehumidifiers cool the air to a point where the invisible water vapor it contains begins to condense. Then the condensate is drained. Typically, application requirements determine the technology used. Desiccant dehumidification is more effective in cooler temperatures, whereas mechanical dehumidifiers work best in warmer temperatures. When selecting a humidity control solution, it is suggested that facilities invest in commercial grade humidity control equipment. High quality commercial grade equipment provides the control needed to maintain proper RH levels, not too low and not too high. Consumer or household equipment is not designed with set points to maintain constant proper relative humidity levels and can only handle residential sized humidification requirements. Taking RH readings with a hygrometer in various areas will quickly determine if a facility is optimized. A target 50% RH is generally recognized as providing positive health benefits. If you see RH levels that are too high or too low, then take these steps. First, if there is already a humidifier or dehumidifier, check to see if it is still operating. Next, raise or lower the RH set point as needed. Finally, manage the building barriers for condensation control. Work with a local dry steam representative to conduct a site survey and explore options for additional capacity and layout. Dry steam reps are all over the world. Find your local dry steam rep by using our finder rep tool at www.drysteam.com. Enter your zip code or city or search by country to find a humidity control expert near you. Thank you for attending this Humidity Control 101 webinar hosted by DrySteam. Visit www.drysteam.com for more humidity control resources.